Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing or unbagging, as it were, of the CDG Solo System. This is designed by, of course, uh, community favorite Stuka Joe and uh, Ken Kuhn. And what this does is this allows you to play card driven games uh, by GMT, playing both sides. Each side will, will make use of uh, the Stuka Joe system. Now, this has been out for a while. It uh, he originally released it and over time released um, uh, game cards for all these various different card driven games. Uh, it was so popular and that, uh, that uh, GMT has picked it up as an official release. Uh, this is actually going to be volume one. Uh, volume two is already on the P500 uh, to be released pretty soon, I do believe, and adds six more games to the mix. Uh, this one allows you to play uh, Paths of Glory, Command and Colors Ancients, Command and Colors Samurai Battles, Washington's War, Caesar Rome vs. Gaul, and For the People. So you'll be able to play that with this. One nice note is this is all completely available for download on the GMT site if you don't wish to buy it, but for you get a professionally printed copy uh, with a die that will do exactly what you need um, and support uh, Stuka Joe's effort for designing the system uh, so many years ago. So let's crack open the bag, see exactly what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so CDG Solar System. Volume one. There's not going to be a lot in here, obviously, because. This is a supplement to other games. This is going to be something you probably just keep on your game table, like you would a dice tray or dice tower or uh, you know card boxes, things like that, or uh, card shoes. So you get a bag to store it in. But again, this will probably the cards will probably go into your representative game, and the die will just probably take take up permanent residence on your game table. Would be the one that makes most sense. So starting with that. You get a six-sided die, but it's obviously customized. So we have, oh, that's interesting. It is, it is printed. It is not engraved. So this text is actually printed on the die. Smooth, that's pretty cool. So you have ABC, D and E. Uh, and then we've got a E less than sign. And then C, D, E. And AB again, and C less than double bang exclamation points. Back in the old mainframe days, that was called a bang symbol. And a dollar bang would crash the uh, mainframe instantly. Ask me how I know as a mainframe operator. So, anyway, so that's your custom die that you're going to use with the system. I have never used this before. Um, I was a little hesitant at first because people put it out as purported it to be, uh, you know, a great, you know, solo system. But what I look for in a solo system normally, and I'm going to try this, I've, I've picked up a copy of Washington's War here to give it a shot. But uh, what, um, since, since the system plays both sides, in other words, the same thing you do for side A, you do for side B. So even though you're playing both sides, it's not an opponent for you, or you make your own action, and then the opponent uses this system, which is what I was hoping for. But over time, I've, I've warmed to the idea of, I come up with my own ways to uh, hinder both sides as I'm playing both sides, so this does that as well. So looking forward to giving it a shot with Washington's War, and then maybe picking up some of the uh, Commands and Colors games again. Uh, I know Napoleon will be in the next release, so anyway. So you get a rule book, a rule pamphlet. It is basically one four page folded booklet that goes over the general setup for how to use it. And this is not glossy. It's the GMT good old uh, rule book stock, that matte paper that it is folded over. It might have been nice given that it was just a um, one sheeter to go ahead and print this like they do their play rates because this is going to get a lot of use i think um so, and since it is not bound and supported by the other pages in the book it might have been a little more durable if they had done that but this is what you get maybe you don't have to refer to it too much once you know it so uh basically explains the components the setup 
the turn procedure and there are the dice sides we saw and how the system works so there we go we don't have a box to stack everything back into and then now you get your solo system your your game specific cards and these are you know uh, the GMT standard kind of glossy cardstock semi-gloss so here's the one for Washington's war this is going to tell you how things work the different die faces work for Washington's war so you get one for that you're going to get one for Caesar Rome versus Gaul and Paths of Glory Illusions of Glory For the people. Commands and Colors Ancients. And Commands and Colors Samurai. So this will be interesting because uh, there's probably a lot of exceptions. I know uh, I had a system, uh, it's not a GMT game, but Memoir 44, I had a way I played it uh, in solo mode. Um, again, limiting the cards, which is basically what this one is going to do. Uh, so I wonder how, how adaptable this is going to be to um, any of the Commands and Colors series. Maybe with a little bit of tweaks for certain cards. There are certain cards that uh, assume that the other player has a hand of cards that you could take from and stuff. So there's probably exceptions for that. So anyway, you get a four counters. You get a marker for cards remaining for red, I mean, excuse me, for blue and green and the maximum hand size for blue and green. And they're pretty thick. And they punch right out. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and unpunch the entire game on camera. And just like that is punched. So these are pretty thick. They're pre-rounded and these are just markers. So these, of course, you probably get a little, you could probably get a little uh, uh, mint container, like an Altoids container or some other small box and keep these and your dice on your game table. Uh, along with these two, now these go along with the system, so we may need a smaller box, or a larger box than a mint box, but anyway, uh, obviously the blue and green side, so they are the same. And this opens out, and this gives you cards remaining, A, B, C, D, and E, which is going to correspond to the letters on the die, and then the five cards that you'll lay out. So. Um, uh, this will help you, you know, for each side, you know, each one's going to have different cards, like a hand of cards. And uh, you will spread these out, and that will limit your choices of action for what you're able to do. And then you basically just play to the best of your ability based on the card that's being played. The card's going to dictate what you can and can't do anyway, and then it's going to be pretty much up to you to ex execute that order. And that's the way a lot of AI systems are anyway. Uh, you, know, you still have to do some kind of translation of the uh, the order given, and then uh, and then play that. So anyway, if you pick up a copy uh, or download and print your own copy of the CDG Solo System, you're going to get the two uh, sides uh, uh, card charts. For one, you're going to get four counters. You're going to get a counter sprue that you no longer need. You're going to get that one six-sided die, custom and nicely printed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It doesn't feel like it's actually a transfer where it's going to rub off, but we'll see. Um, you're going to get the cards for six, six or seven. No, it's seven because apparently, um, even though they only list six here, you're getting Paths of Glory and Illusions of Glory. Also, so you're actually getting seven games included. The reference cards, the die, and a four-page rules summary. And that is everything that comes in Volume 1 of the CDG Solo System from GMT Games, designed by Stuka Joe and Ken Kuhn. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!